Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-152 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. And the topic is stress concentration. So statement is the bar is subjected to a moment of 40 Newton into meter. Determine the smallest radius R of the fillet so that allowable bending stress is 124 megapascal is not exceeded. So you can see this bar is exerted by a moment that is 140 uh, newton into meter the cross section here is shown as this height is 80 and the width is 7 millimeter and here the height is 20 millimeter and the width is 7 millimeter clear so due to change in cross section area from 80 to r to 20 there is stress concentration in this region so we have been given allowable bending stress is this so you have to determine the uh, smallest radius r of this fillet clear so let's start with the solution as we know that uh, allowable bending stress for this stress concentration will be equal to k into mc divided by i so what will be the m m is moment clear so moment will be equal to 40 newton into meter what is c so you can see that the stress concentration will be maximum in this region so we will take the cross-sectional area of this portion so the cross-section area will here will be you can see this height is 20 millimeter so we will take this as 20 millimeter and thickness is 7 millimeter it's 7 millimeter so if you take the half of this that will be its neutral axis there and C is distance from neutral axis till topmost. So it will be equal to C. And this C is equal to 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 10 millimeter. So I will write C is equal to 10 millimeter. So we will convert into meter and that will be equal to 0 0.01 meter. Now I for I is the second moment of inertia for this rectangular section, which is equal to 1 over 12 bhq clear so put the value 1 over 12 b which is breadth is 7 millimeter in meter it is 0 0.007 clear and height is 20 millimeter so in meter it is 0 0.02 cube so when you calculate it you will get the second moment of inertia for this rectangular cross sections uh, will be equal to 1 over 12 0 0.007 0 0.02 whole cube you can calculate it so this will be the i now what we will do is that we have been given the allowable bending stress which is 124 megapascal so we know that allowable bending stress is equal to k m into c divided by i where k is stress concentration factor so sigma allowable is 124 megapascal so 124 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to k and what about mm is 40 newton into meter so 40 multiplied by c is distance which is 0 0.01 divided by this i and i is 1 over 12 0 0.007 into 0 0.02 whole cube so from here you will get this k and this k will be equal to 124 multiply by 10 raised to power 6 multiply by 1 over 12 into 0 0.007 into 0 0.02 whole cube and you will divide it by 40 multiply by 0 0.01 so from here when you calculate it you will get k will be equal to 1.5 so I will write k is equal to 1.45 now you will use this table so you can see that this case is similar to this so what we are going to find is we have k value clear and we will find w by 4 h so here this is w which is you can see the maximum height which is w and this is 80 millimeter and here the height is 20 millimeter so what we'll write is that w is equal to 80 millimeter and h is equal to 20 millimeter so we are going to find w by h ratio clear 
so w divided by h so w is 80 and h is 20 so you will get 4 clear so w by h is 4 now what we will do is that you can see k is 1.45 k is 1.45 and w by h is 4 so you can use this table so from here what we will get is that if i draw this is k on y-axis this is k and this point is 1.45 so this line is 1.45 clear and what about w by h is 4 so you can see this is the figure so this point is the point and if you draw the vertical line from here so you can see this point is 0 0.25 and this 0 0.25 is r by h so we will get r by h is 0 0.225 okay so i will write from table or from figure 6-43 with k is equal to 1.45 and w by h is equal to 4 we get r by h r by h is equal to 0 0.25 so from here r will be equal to 0 0.25 time h since h is equal to 20 millimeter so put it R will be equal to 0 0.25 times 20 millimeter and you will get R will be equal to 5 millimeter which is the radius of this fillet and is the answer of this question so this was all about this problem 6-152 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.